What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with another edition of WWE Action Figure Appointment. I thought we were going to have enough to make a surgery video happen here today, man, but I'm saving the surgery for a very special fix-up that I'm working on, an ultimate fix-up. I talked about it yesterday on the community tab. If you guys missed that, definitely go check it out, but it is a... I spent like 70, 80 bucks on it, on the parts, I should say, on eBay just the other night, and I hope it doesn't flop. So I hope to do an Action Figure Surgery episode when we get into that i hope that the custom even turns out right i i hope to god that everything comes full circle when we actually get to that custom but i'm excited about it hopefully it works out and hopefully everything pans together there but i'm kind of working on that but today man we do have a pretty exciting day of appointment you guys know that appointment is kind of like a smaller scale version of wwe action figure surgery so we are going to get into everything here today, man we got some pretty cool swaps i'm excited to do and we're going to get into all those things man so let's go ahead and start off with i guess Liv morgan she's the first one left to right on the stretcher we try to always cover the stretcher first so basically what we have is elite series 85 Liv morgan now if you guys have been watching the toy hunts okay first of all if you haven't been watching the toy hunts you should go watch the toy hunts the other i want to say what was it two three weeks ago we went into my local walmart there was legitimately i'm not even bsing i want to say there was like eight Liv morgans maybe there may have been a little less or a little more it was like six to nine i know that and so i'm probably going to end up going down there and picking up one or two of those because i really want this figure i want to keep one that you know just looks just just like the Elite 85, I don't want any differences in it. But then I also would like to do one where we take this basic. Now, this fix-up kind of stumbled onto me because I was actually cleaning up my room late. Last night, I was cleaning up my room, and I found this basic just chilling in the closet, just like laying there under some ish. And I was like, you know what, Brad? I mean, that, that's uh, that's kind of a fire fix-up. I kind of want to try this. It may fall flat on its face, but it's worth the shot. Also, since we still have Liv Morgan, I would love to see her like this in an Elite. Now, I know we had that random collector's edition Target exclusive. What was that, like Elite 6? 69 or Elite 67 or something. That's like right off the cuff, right? It was a very random Liv Morgan, but I think this head over here would be kind of cool. I'm going to see what it looks like. The head may not fit well, and I'm going to put this head over here to kind of give us a different basic Riot Squad sort of Liv Morgan there, so that should be fun. We'll see what goes of it. It may fall flat on its face, but figure it'd be worth a try. Next up, we have the Elite Series 82 Alexa Bliss. Now, after we got that Ultimate Edition, I really would like to grab another one of those Ultimate Editions just for different fix-ups. I'd like to have one on display with the Demon head sculpt on there with the black you know shirt with the long dress there going down and kind of switching some parts around to make a cool Alexa Bliss but since I don't have that today and I'd also like to grab another Elite 82 she's on Amazon kind of waiting for the price to drop a little bit I've seen it shelf warm at Target before as well but I think this head sculpt on this body instead of the smiling head put her that demon head on there with the black attire with the black skeleton gloves black nail polish black kick pads everything with the pink on the gear and the pink on the hair and everything I think this will be a really cool swap as well. So I'm going to put this head sculpt on the Elite 82 Alexa Bliss. We also have some Jeff Hardy's featured here today. He may be one of the main stayers of action figure appointment. I feel like he's been on there a million times, but we have another fire fix up for Jeff Hardy today. If you guys missed it the other day, I did get this basic. I don't know what the basic series is. I found this. I had the tingle. I had my damn tingle. I felt like my target had something. So I thought to myself, I need to go to target. I went to target and what they have, Brad, they had this basic Jeff Hardy that I've been looking for. I, I found every figure in the set except for Jeff Hardy on multiple occasions and I finally found the Jeff Hardy so I went ahead and grabbed it I wanted this head sculpt I always try to buy the Jeff Hardy basics to switch into elites that's what we got here today man so I'm gonna put this head sculpt now stay with me here I'm gonna put this head sculpt on this body you guys know that we picked up like 12 of that Smackdown 2 pack I think I have five of them maybe I, I don't know but since we have this base elite body right here I think this head sculpt over here would look solid now I know he won't have the tattoos but I look forward to getting a mesh shirt or something to go over the figure and I'm still playing around with some stuff I may end up getting another Elite 84 Hardy as the next version, and I'm going to put this head onto the Elite 84 and then put a mesh shirt on it. Now, how sick would that be? Now, I think I have two of the regular Elite 84, and then I have a Chase variant version, so I'm still looking for more of that figure. I might be able to grab one. Let me check Amazon right quick. I may buy it right now. If it's if it's cheap on Amazon, I'm grabbing it. I'm going to go ahead and grab it because that'll be a fix-up we can do. I know the, uh, the top picks over here, this fix-up that we did a while back, is at every local Walmart. All right, so as it stands right now. It's weird because the Chase variant Series 84 Hardy is 33 ship and the regular
regular version that's not Chase variant is actually 32 and I don't even think that it's on priority. So you could actually get the Chase for cheaper, but I think I'm going to just sit on that. I'll wait on it. Even though it has the arm, not only does it have the back tattoo, it has the freaking arms that I want. Uh, I might add it to cart, man. I might just add it to cart. I feel like that's a kind of a steal right now. What do I do if it increases in price? Well, I just bought it. So there you go. There, that takes care of that. Anyways, that's not here today. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these arms onto this Hardy right here. So stick with me. We're going to put these arms on this Hardy because of the older arms. We're going to put that head over here and I think that'll be a pretty cool fix up. Not only that, we're going to take this head and I guess we could just kind of hold on to it because we have a plenty of this head we could put on, on multiple Jeff Hardy figures. And then we're going to take this uh, this base head that has no face paint. It's actually the epic moments, I think. And we're going to put it onto here. I try to get every Elite Hardy and then put a base head sculpt on there. That way you have a version of the base head sculpt with no face paint on every single Elite Hardy with face paint. That way you get a different look for all of them there. So that will look pretty cool. I also thought about putting this onto that shirtless figure over there and putting some mesh on it or something, but we'll, we'll play around with that. And the last thing we want to do today is switch these legs, man. We're going to put these damn, oh my God, they have like Mod Podge on them. That'll be okay. We're going to switch these legs. So you guys know we have the new Elite 92 Adam Cole over here. Still waiting to get the Chase variant. Hopefully that won't be a, a, such a hard deal, but we're going to put these legs over onto this Adam Cole over here and that should uh, make him taller. The legs will be better and it'll make a great fix up to use on Vindication whenever that drops. All right guys, so we do have the white trusty hair dryer here today and I guess we could start. We maybe, I don't know how well we'll be able to do everything. I don't know if it'll even be possible and these shoulders are already loose. It kind of pisses me off, but I'm going to get rid of the Undisputed Era armband because, you know, there's no Undisputed Era in MDT at the moment. So we're going to get rid of the armband so we don't ruin it, but we are going to have to uh, heat up the inner thighs here because he is on ball joints. This is the epic moments. Adam Cole really loved that figure. It, it was so bonkers. Fed it a ton with it. It's a great figure, but not only do we have that. Now this, we do not have to heat up, right? Because it's removable. It's interchangeable. So there is our Hardy. We don't have to worry about the pink head skull. That can go over here for customs of the later date. Uh, we do have Adam Cole stacked here. We're going to put Jeff Hardy's head right here near the crotch area. I apologize. Not a very comfortable spot. We have these arms in here that we want to get in here. We also have these arms that we need to get in here. Haven't done this in a while. Hopefully I don't ruin the necklace. That right there. And then, oh my god. Dude, are we going to even be able to do this? Why am I risking this? This is so stupid. This is so stupid. What are we doing? Alexa Bliss right there. Are you guys witnessing this human centipede type garbage we got going on right here? I mean, we may brutally fail horribly, but we're going to risk it to get the biscuit, man. So we're going to stick Liv Morgan right here. So we have all of this getting heated up. Now, is it going to fail miserably? It just might, Brad. I'm going to slide this back some so we can get everything in the beam of light. And we're going to hit this thing with a white trusty hair dryer. Hopefully he comes through for us. I know we snapped a Sami Zayn not too long ago, so hopefully we don't recreate that mess. But uh, I think everything is in line, man. So what we're going to do is hit this and get started. That may be the longest I've ever heated up a bunch of things at once as far as, you know, like surgery and stuff goes. All right, we got Liv Morgan's head off. That is very nice to see. I don't know if I'm really worried about anything. Like, good God, that head is very tiny. We're going to push this on just so we can get it out of the way. All right, Liv Morgan's done over there. I do want to put this head up here too just to make sure that it goes on. Uh, all right, we got that. Now, Alexa Bliss. You got to be very careful. I feel like the women's pegs are really tiny, so you got to be really careful with those. I'm going to go ahead and like, firmly grasp this on here. That way, that one is complete as well, so we can just knock them out one at a time, you know? Okay, so sweet lord. Look at that peg right there. So that confirms that the shoulders are black. So I guess if, if you're wondering about that, there's something you could possibly, you know, switch on there or something. Uh, hardy arms onto the hardy pegs. Hardy pegs may need to get cut, man. They're like really long for some reason. I do not like that. What is going on with that garbage? I have to cut that. Anyway, I right, got the Jeff head off. I do want to leave the necklace on there. I think it's a nice touch. So we're going to leave that on there. All right, nice. Necklace fell off. Got to place that back on there. And we're going to place this head on here. 
Ugh, nice. I'm gonna have to shave that peg off. Maybe I can fix it before you guys see what we got going on there. That way, you know, you don't have to wait around any longer. Now we have black Jeff Hardy arms, which are pretty cool. So we can put that away to go with our other fodder that we have. Um, I do have to also pop this head onto the double jointed arms top picks Jeff Hardy over here. So go ahead and smash that like button. That's not even what I was gonna say, but it gets the job done. So there's that. And then I was really worried that this wouldn't get heated up enough. So I'm glad that we were able to make that happen. Now we just got to get this son of a bitch onto the leg peg. That actually rhymed unintentionally. Didn't expect that. And then on there, may have to remod podge this because I know that it lost that over time, you know. I don't think I super glued it. I think it was Mod Podge. But now we got this, and now we can pop this. Now he's going back to his old legs with big knee pads. What a downgrade for, for the old Adam Cole right there. Kind of weird. Com we're combining his old figure with his new figure. His first figure with his last, as far as Mattel goes. But that is everything that we have today on appointment, man. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything up next to each other. All right, guys, so here's everything that we did on action figure appointment here today. Really successful, honestly. Uh, turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I think everything thing looks pretty damn incredible. Let's go ahead and get into the Alexa Bliss first. I like it, man. I, I really don't see any issues with it. I think that the head sculpt fits nicely on the head. It may sit maybe a tad high, like maybe, but I, I still think it works out great. I like the way the gloves look with the full look here. Again, really would like to get another one of those Ultimate Editions and another Elite Series 82 just to play around with it, get some different fix-ups going again. Maybe even putting the white gloves onto this from the Ultimate Edition and then keeping the smiley face head sculpt on it and then putting these hands into the other Ultimate Edition with the dark getup. I think that would be pretty sweet, but I think this Alexa Bliss turned out sweet. Next up is our two Liv Morgans, and these turned out fantastic. I honestly think that the basic looks incredible. I wish we got an Elite just like this with this head sculpt because I think it looks really awesome with the, the white and black. I know it's not very detailed, right? It's not very articulated either, but it still looks really good, and then the pink-haired Liv with the black attire looks sick AF too, so you guys can let me know down below which one you like more. I know that uh, this her, her, her other Elite which was basically a basic honestly it didn't have as much articulation as this elite right here but her first elite that we got in that a collector's edition did have this head sculpt but it did have blonde hair so it's kind of cool to get the two opposites there uh you know it just go, it creates a different look there so I, I actually like the way both of those look you guys can let me know what you think of the pink haired live elite we also have our adam cole here which looks incredible now he has you know the full get up now i can put him over there on the vindication shelf and his legs are actually really tight so uh, i guess all that mod podge didn't really melt out of there but he looks really good so We'll see what he can make happen in this gear. You know, he looks pretty damn good. I like the head sculpt. I like the full get up, double jointed arms. He looks immaculate. And last but not least, we do have our Jeff Hardys. And uh, I really wish now that I wouldn't have just went ahead and switched this uh, because, you know, we have the Elite 84 on the way. I did pay the 30 or whatever. So we're going to get the Elite in here. We're going to have a mesh shirt and we're going to have the back tattoo as well as the white armbands. And then I can put this head sculpt onto the red and white. But now I have more ideas for fix ups that we can do with the red and white face paint. So we have more face paints Jeff Hardy's more elite Jeff Hardy's just adding to the collection thinking about do it if I'll tell you this right now if Jeff Hardy days Buse tonight in AEW Thursday's video is going to be a Jeff Hardy collection video you know we're, we're going to do that to celebrate Jeff Hardy and AEW one of my predictions would have came true that we would see a AEW Jeff Hardy figure in 2022 at least the render we may not have the figure in hand but we at least see a render image of a Jeff Hardy AEW figure hopefully he'll be the one in the ladder match tonight and that will be the end of it I've heard Keith Lee but I think it's going to be Jeff Hardy I heard that Tony Khan paid uh, like bought out his contract paid wwe all the money and hopefully that will be the case there but that is going to wrap up today's video man hope you guys did enjoy appointment I think everything turned out fantastic i'm actually really excited for this episode uh you know coming in i wasn't too you know too too excited but i think everything turned out better than i expected so that looks freaking fantastic i'm glad that Liv morgan fix up fell into my lap just just looking in my closet but that's going to wrap up today's video man thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed the appointment let me know all the things down below subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you guys in the next video Thank you, and don't cross the line like me when I did the fix-up anyway when I was really waiting on a different figure.